and this could be provisional pole for Titsy. We'll see Liam Dotty cross the line as his slight lock up there. He's got to keep it tight now, get the power down. He's struggling with a raise. I don't think he's going to improve for Liam Dotty up to the line. It doesn't improve. Tixie goes provisional pole. Jensen is improving as well. Phoenix is right behind Jensen. Flume up to the line, cannot do anything about it. Jamal has gone P6, so ride on board with Jensen and Phoenix. Jensen first, crossing the line. He's improving by a tenth, but it's not going to be enough for provisional pole position. Jensen now through sector three. He's got to keep it tight, but you know he's invalidated. Jensen will not be getting pole. Phoenix now up to the line in P3. Can he improve? Can he steal that second place from Jensen? Ten plus is retired. Jensen goes off the track to allow Phoenix through. Can it be a front row? Can it be a provisional pole for Phoenix? Goes to the front row. Phoenix on the front row with Tixie. Jensen falls to third. Jamal is done. Voiters Luba across the line now goes into P4. That is a good clutch last lap there for Voiters Luba. Mark Noble improving by one and a half tenths now. Can he get into the top ten? Not quite. He lost a bit of time coming through the final corner there. Palang is improving and he's going to be the last one to set a lap. Palang around the final couple of corners. Gone a little bit deep, which means he needs to take that final tighter line. Around the corner, final corner goes into P16. Gains a couple spots. Gains by half a second, but it's only enough for P16. So Tixie is back, and he's back on pole. Round 5, Season 9. Here we go. The lights are on, and it's lights out, and away we go. And Tixie and Phoenix get a pretty even start, but Martin Zluber is probably got the jump on Jensen. He's going down the inside into Turn 1. Can he hang on round the outside now? Martin on Jensen. I think he's just lost out, but he's going to go for a dive down the inside. As there's a bit of contact and Martin Zuber. Voiter is round again on the first lap. First lap incident for Voiter Zuber and he's round to the back of the grid. We saw it happen in Jeddah. We've seen it here again. I think it was a pretty audacious, an audacious move to dive down the inside, but Tix and Jensen have got away well. Phoenix has dropped one position, has lost out to Jensen. Flume trying to make the move round the outside on Phoenix. Can he get the traction down on those soft compound tyres on the compared to the mediums? Flume. Looking for a move on Phoenix to grab that podium position. Seth Martin making moves on Hasty. I think they're going side by side here into Cops. Is this going to end well? And we have seen it end well. Uh, Seth Martin's gone off the track a little bit there. Bloom, fantastic start on the soft compound tyres. But I think everyone, apart from Martin, has made it through safely. He's not too far behind though. So he can definitely catch up. As there's a couple, bit of side by side action between Jack Vlogs, Pelang, the couple drivers going off there. Um, and there's a spinner at the back, and that's Liam Dotty after a pretty good qualifying. He's now joining Voiter at the back of the grid. Phoenix and Flume going side by side through Stone. Flume is into the podium positions on the soft compound tyres. Tixie leads the way on lap one. As it's very tricky to keep it on through Maggots and Beckett's, and also through Cops and Jensen is going to make a move into the lead. And we're going to have a new race leader, are we? Jensen. Inter Stowe is your new race leader on lap two. I think we're going to have a lot of this switching around um, throughout this race. But I feel like there's a dive bomb coming here. We'll ride on board with Pelang. Is he going to go down the inside? He thought about it, but not quite for Pelang. There's a little bit of contact between the green Sauber and the green Aston Martin. But I'll tell you who is going for a move. Tixie back on Jensen. Flume's going to want to get involved in the action. Round the outside goes Flume. Can he get the better traction? compared to the Alpine driver and he can that's a fantastic move from Flume in the McLaren just swoops around with Tixie Jensen loses two places and it's now Tixie Flume 1-2 there's going to be another move here Flume is he going to be a new race leader round the outside it's going to be for Flume and Flume and Jensen get past Tixie and Flume is your new race leader on lap four no, find that battle again. There's been a spinner towards the rear. And it, of course, who else could it be? Uh, Mr. Spin is had three. Well, he's had five out of five spins, I think, this season, unfortunately, for Hasty. And he's now at the back of the field. You just get to the point. I feel a bit sorry for him. Um, Hasty at the back. Jamal picks up a three second time penalty. The first time penalty in the top ten. As uh, I think. Mark Noble is sort of in a race of his own now between the two trains. But round the outside, Tixie 
going for the move on Jensen up the inside. It's a copy of what we saw from Flume a couple laps ago. And Tixie is back in the lead of this race. It's, I tell you what, been lovely racing so far for round five for British Grand Prix in a race of his own. Voiter making the moves back. And he's now back in the top ten after being last of the runners. And round the outside is a bit of argy-bargy. Who's that going through? Oh, I thought there was going to be a through. Goes Jack Vlogs moment there, but not quite. Voiter back down to P11. Is he going to go for a move into turn one? He is. That's audacious. Are they going to turn into each other? Not quite. Lovely racing. Voitas feel like a sense coming down the inside now. Here he goes on Palang. Good racing between those two. Pushing out wide. Uh, it's hard but fair. Voitas is going to have to wait for the DRS. And I think Tixi couldn't quite make the move on Jensen. So a cut back to Voiter as he storms down the inside now of Palang and that is P10 for Voiter. Jack Vlogs has in invited himself to the party as well. Uh, Palang, can he stick it down the inside? Bit of wheel banging, I think that's lost out the traction uh, for Palang, so I think Jack Vlogs has got that moved on. And there has been a spinner and that is Jack Vlogs and he was running quite high was Jack Vlogs, so I don't know if that was an incident that's a reset to track. So Mr Bagnall, will you write that down on my notes because on lap 9 Jensen goes off the track so that is certainly going to be a track limits penalty for Jensen Alex this is where I need you to go through all the warnings this is this is going to get tasty towards the end of this race as Jensen round the outside bit of contact between the front two there and Jensen has got that move done Flume has had enough and he's gone into the pit lane so he's going to get rid of those soft compound tyres Tix is struggling now on those mediums you saw a huge slide there after the contact with Jensen as Jensen is pulling away into the lead now. Six tenths is the gap. I'm sure he's going to make that up in the DRS zone. But yeah, Flume is fitting another pair. Of, I thought it was another pair of softs then, but it's not. He's gone on to the hard compound tyres. Soft to hard for Flume. Is he going to go to the end? I believe he very well may do. Bit of recharging from Tixie there. Jensen certainly not recharging. He's deploying all his ARS. Going for the move into the lead of the race. Lap 12 into the lead is Jensen. It was my bit. I did assume that. Uh, Jensen has pulled the plug. He's now into the pit lane. I'm, I'm assuming someone will copy. And that is Gary Freeleg, Zachary Munn. Seth Martin does not copy, but I do like that strategy from Gary Freeleg. I don't like it anymore. He's picked up a speeding in the pit lane penalty, which is now on this game, instead of five seconds, ten seconds. So that could be Gary Freeleg down maybe out of the points that is a huge blow for the Aston Martin driver but yeah Jensen into the pit lane when will everyone else follow is it going to be an undercut for Jensen on Tixie is he going to be well into the lead of this race and there's a spinner towards the back I think that's Brodo uh, let's have a look yeah it is he spun again which is not ideal on the Hamilton straight but yeah Jensen first one to box and he's got out ahead of Flume which is crucial but Flume can he get back in the DRS and can these work together to potentially pull a gap on Tixie. Tixie coming out of the pit lane now Jensen coming through turn one is it going to be into the lead Tixie's there Jensen can he get the move done Tixie's going to have cold tyres Jensen's going to have to sit behind but I'm sure he's going to pound straight away as Jensen tucks in to the slipstream tucks into the DRS He's going to get that rear wing open. Didn't quite get the undercut, but he's going to charge past now. Tixie into the lead of this race. Flew too far back to be able to do anything. As we still have a train, as Phoenix is well within here. But he's gone onto the softs, which is really, really interesting. Phoenix, Seth, and Nanu and Iki Robo all on the softs. I think they've took the data from Flume, which showed them that the softs can last over 10 laps. And still have decent pace. So I think Phoenix has used that data from Flume. And he's made that decision to go onto the softs rather than onto the hards. Which is pretty pretty interesting call. Pretty pretty interesting. Um, Tixie and Jensen going side by side. Jensen trying to hold it. But the door was slammed shut there by Tixie. I really don't mind that strategy by Phoenix. It's good thinking. Um, Phoenix on the softs. Interesting says Jan. Yeah it certainly is. We'll have to see if he can make it last like Flume made his soft compound tyres last all the way to the end of this race. Waiting to pick up any scraps. Is it going to be like a 
George Russell on Max and Lando situation where <coughs> these two collide and Phoenix swoops around to take the win like George Russell. Um, hey, oh, who's that? That Ferrari, it's Voita. Voita's round at Stowe. He's lost it. Voita, again, for the second time, is going to be demoted towards the rear of the pack. Uh, and he's very well on course to do so. And Palang has retired into the pit lane, which I, I think he was running a decent spot, to be fair. So Palang has retired from the race. It will not be a safety car. But Seth Martin on Zachary Munn, side-by-side -side action, like we've seen so many times this race before. Side-by-side -side now. As here we go, Seth has to go a little bit off track. But he is in to P5. It's going to be moving to Cops from Zachary Munn. Or is he going to be stick, sticking behind? I think he's just going to stick behind and wait for the hangar straight. But Seth Martin into fifth place, which is mega. Ten points at the moment for the Williams driver. You can see how much that frustrates Zachary Munner. That's a big slide from Seth Martin. Don't want to be doing that anymore, giving too much load onto the tyres. Going to contribute to a lot of wear. Um, ticks his sticks behind Seth Martin and Zachary Munn. Still going side by side. Zachary into P5. And Gary Freeler can't quite do anything about it. So that would be his P5 for Seth. Flume down the inside of Phoenix. is going for it. Flume into the podium positions. Phoenix forced out wide. I think that might be a warning, but he'll get that removed. Down the inside, Phoenix and Flume. There's a bit of contact, but I think that could be classed as a race incident. Phoenix is still well in this fight, so I don't think anything is doing there. Uh, Flume into the podium position now. Jensen is closely followed by Tixi. Seth Martin can't quite get the move done on Zachary Munn on the hangar straight. Um, but like I say, all he has to do is just stick behind until the end of this race. If he knows Zachary Munn can't have those penalties removed, he will just stick behind. But he's going for him down the inside. It's a bit of contact between Seth and Zach. And Gary Three-Leg is now into P5, but he has got that 10 second time penalty which is crucial for the end of this race. There's hard fighting now between Seth and Zachary Munn side by side. This is going to... Is this going to end badly? Not too sure. Seth Martin on the sauce is going for the switch back down the inside can he? Not quite as Seth Martin. Another collision with a driver. But all is well as Gary Freeleg will drop behind them anyway uh, with that 10 second time penalty. He's just got to... Make it to the end. Try and extend that gap as Gary Three-Leg as much as he possibly can to Zachary Munn. But with the DRS, it's going to be difficult to break away. Yeah, Phoenix going for the move on Flume. Is it Jensen certainly going for a move on Tixie? Let's cut back to Phoenix into P3 again. Flume trying to uh, get the move back, but nothing quite doing. Now, we are going on to lap 24 out of 26. And it is all to play for. Four drivers could still win. Make that three. Flume picks up a three-second time penalty. I knew time penalties were going to be crucial come the end of this race. So that's probably solidified Flume getting only P4 at the minute unless there is a big collision. Zachary Munn has spun. Zachary Munn spun. Seth Martin at the end of the Hamilton straight. Zachary Munn going, just going into turn one now. That is... A collision for Zachary Munn, I believe it was with Seth Martin. And we saw tempers rising uh, on the last lap. So you could see that was always brewing. Um, but yeah, Tixi back up to the front. Tixi, Jensen, Phoenix all still within a shot of winning this race. Flume with that three second time penalty. Can't quite do anything about it now. He can go for the move on track if he thinks that warning can be removed. Tixi is going to go for a move into Cops Corner wouldn't be smart and he hasn't gone for it so lap 24 out of 26 Whoa, this is going to go right down to the wire who's going to win this race I don't even know myself can Jensen extend his lead out in front it's been pretty comfortable for me all season so far Tixie took round one but Jensen ever since uh, Tixie's not been attending got a race ban last last uh, last race did Tixie serve that so he's back here today and he's straight back in challenging with the Alpine driver D gone on holiday and he will miss probably most of what is left of this season. So D out of the championship fight. That's one less contender for Jensen. But Tixi winning this race at the moment. Penultimate lap we've started. Tixi versus Jensen versus Phoenix. Who's going to take this win? 
Tixie Jensen, Phoenix, Flume, who is going to take the victory here? All within a second of the car ahead. Tixie leading this race. Phoenix going for a move on Jensen. Is this going to allow Tixie to break away? It's Phoenix into the lead of the race, but he's kept in touch crucially with Tixie. Tixie into the lead. Phoenix P2, Jensen P3 is lost out to the racing bull driver. Phoenix, the bull is on the charge. Can he get the race win? Here at Silverstone, his home Grand Prix was here in real life. Can he do it virtually? Phoenix on the run-up now through Maggots and Beckett's. Can he get the move on Tixie to make it his first win of the season in the racing ball? Voice has got the fastest lap. Phoenix is off the track. That promotes Jensen into P2. Flume into P3. Phoenix has had a mare. He's down. He's lost the car through Beckett's. Phoenix down to P4. Jensen. Probably can't make the move now on, on Tixie. It's looking like Tixie is going to take win here today at the British Grand Prix unless there's any late moves. But I think Tixie is going to round out the final corner. Tixie, the flying fin, is back on top. And Tixie wins the race. Jensen P2. Phoenix gets promoted back up onto the podium after Flume's penalty. Gary Freeleg, unfortunately, speeding in the pit lane. He's going to drop down probably to P9. Maybe even P10. Gary Freeleg there. Seth Martin comes home in P5. It's a mega result for Seth Martin. Zachary Mon P6. Icky Robbo P7. Gary Freeleg P8. And it is P8 for Gary Freeleg. Mark Noble P9. And Jamal the final points position. Wow.